Hello everyone, Blast Off Simulator has finally received an update and one of the new features in this update is actually this double jump and the music in the background. Comment below if you heard the sound effect of the jump and if you hear the music in the background. So this new update actually includes a new rocket, a new gem item, new backpacks and a new fuel scoop which is quite surprising in a way. The new rocket isn't a brand new original rocket, it's just a boosted Sky Dragon which earns you more cash because it burns off the same amount of fuel than the previous one but it earns you 11 times cash instead of the 10 times. So in my opinion it's just a lot more expensive, it looks better, you earn more cash and it's faster. There are three new very sick looking backpacks as you can see, they are quite expensive however. And if I'm correct, there are two new fuel scoops, this one and this one, which collect 14 fuel per 0.25 seconds, the best one, which makes the gem fuel scoop worse because there's just a better fuel scoop. So the developer, Chop, has to keep in mind to, make, to always keep that gap so that the gem fuel scoop remains the best. It's still the best, but it's worse than it was before this update. The all new gem item is the Dark Matical which you can buy for 250 gems. Now you might ask how do you get 250 gems because you can't get it without purchasing Robux. Well Chop kept that in mind so that it's still balanced out because if you complete every single item to the max rank you get enough gems if you don't spend it on boosters to buy three of the best fuel bots one, buy one of the info backpack and the gem fuel scoop to get the f the dark matter call without spending robux on the game you come over here to the islands list which is actually new which names the all of the islands and the altitude they're at so you come here scroll to the bottom and here is this little easter egg click it for 250 gems i've already claimed it so that's how you get a free dark matter call the other news Thing to this update is this top 50 max altitudes leaderboard. What's good about it is that it lists 50 of the highest altitudes, not not the top 10. It also looks better and people can literally get infinite altitudes if they have enough cash. They can't literally get infinite but I mean they can get however many altitudes they want. With the previous leaderboard they couldn't because there was no such thing as instant launch what is instant launch I will explain literally after this so there wasn't instant launch so after 8 million altitudes Roblox basically broke because so, Roblox couldn't provide a higher barrier or whatever so Roblox didn't break the Roblox barrier did it still does but if you use the instant launch you can get however many altitudes you can depending on the amount of fuel you get you collect. As you can see the boosted Sky Dragon does look really cool and I've got a shocking 4 million few. I have been grinding it for quite a while. I do want to go on the leaderboard that's why I've been grinding it. There is this new thing called fuel in rocket so you've got your fuel storage here but this is actually how many fuel you have in your rocket so you can remove all or add all of the fuel so if we had 20,000 fuel it adds it to the rocket which you can then launch so you won't launch 4 million fuel you will launch 20,000 fuel you can also add a, an extra 20,000 fuel making it 40,000 fuel with this new update there is also this instant launch pad here this restrict pad access which actually came out a few updates ago which still exists but it doesn't kick out the players that are already in your pad which is a shame so over here I've got 40,000 fuel in my rocket and if I press 1 I can calculate the target altitude. So 46,666 altitude is the rough altitude I would get. It's not the precise altitude, it's just an estimate. So you can't just instant launch randomly. So what instant launch does is it launch your rocket. So if I launch with 4 million altitude, 4 million fuel, it would take days, literally days for me to launch. But with the instant altitude, it literally takes one second, literally. But so that people can't get instant launches forever, Chop added the Dark Matical, which you can purchase for 250 Robux. So you can't use it forever. So one, you calculate the target altitude, that's not necessary. Two, you activate Dark Matter 
injector which turns this to dark to purple if I'm correct and if you press 3 it turns it to purple and then this green lights up to light green so spend it wisely and if your aim is to go on the leaderboard then make sure to use the starter rocket because that burns off less fuel per second so you can go higher altitude so yeah that was it for today's video oh yeah one last thing moonling leaderboards still haven't been added back but a person on the discord server on the blast of fans discord server have bet has begged chop to add it back and chop the developer has reacted and seen the message so moonling leaderboards might be added back they might not but they might but anyways that was it for this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video goodbye